hello there everyone welcome to another video tutorial today i'm going to be walking you through how to install a flutter script from this amazing website called canyon.net all right so um today we're going to be looking at a delivery application so this is an on-demand delivery system a flutter application with bidding system all right so um first thing you want to do is to check out this application look for the screenshots as well as the live preview of this application and do well to read the documentation as well all right so if you haven't liked and share and subscribe do well to do that uh, before we proceed yeah all right so once that is done you just want to go ahead to add to cart add this script to cart so uh, once you click on that button you're going to see a pop-up that shows the details of this script and this is a 149 dollars script so you just want to go ahead and check out every other thing that you want and then you go ahead to ch check out all right so once you click on go to checkout you can be asked for your credentials in order to proceed to payment so i'm not going to be going through this process because we've already purchased the script and i don't want to do that a second time so do well to go through the process and purchase the script once you purchase the script uh identify where um, it's been downloaded and note it because we're going to be using it later all right so once that is done, the next thing you want to go ahead and do is to get the required tools for um, using this um, script, right, when you're not accomplishing. So one of the things in order for you to run this script is to get Flutter. So we're going to just say Flutter SDK. So we want to download Flutter SDK. Flutter SDK is going to help you um, to run the script when you're not accomplishing. Uh, so this is the official website for flutter and uh here you can see the get started procedure in order to get flutter downloaded into your system all right so for us we're going to be um downloading inside our windows device this is the current device as you can see so uh if you're using mac os you just want to go ahead and use mac if you're using linux as well as chrome os you just want to go ahead and use any of these other options so for today we're going to be using this current device which is windows so you go ahead and click on it once you click on it uh you want to go ahead and choose your first type of device uh so um first type of app so um th this delivery app is going to be a mobile application so you just want to go ahead and click android since it's going to be used to android phones and others mobile phones generally all right so the next step is to start building flutter with android on windows so this is where you get to verify your system requirements as well as hardware requirements as well as software requirements and also your process system so do well to um look through these uh requirements carefully and make sure your system meets this requirement and then you're good to start using flutter so once your system meets this requirement the next thing you want to do is to go ahead to install uh the flutter is again to your machine so this is the button to download and install it and this is the button where you get to install it directly from your vs code if already installed so what you want to go ahead to do is to download this bundle so shadow windows uh this is version 3.29.2 so this is a stable version so once you click on this your installation begins and once that is done you just want to go ahead to create a new folder or a new directory where you get to unzip your install for um sdk and then you put it into that new directory all right so once that is done you yeah like i said you extract the file into the directory and then you want to go ahead to update your windows path uh then this is just a straightforward uh, process so you just go ahead to read through the documentation on how to do that and then you get to start using flutter all right so for most of us that don't have a integrated development environment so i'm going to be showing you how to install your ide in order to start running flutter and writing codes in flutter so um the first idea you can use is um visual studio code so 
um what you want to go ahead to do is to save visual studio download so you're just going to be redirected to code.visualstudio.com so forward slash download so this is the url and um coming to this site you're going to be seeing different options to download um visual studio so like it's like as usual we're going to be using windows so this is for windows download and these are different other options as well as mac os so if you're using a mac you just want to go ahead and click on this so going directly into this you just want to click on uh windows and then your installation is going to begin and uh you just want to go ahead to follow the procedure to install it and then start running visual studio on your windows device all right so once that is done you just want to go ahead and get the final piece of download so which is going to be android studio so what you want to go ahead to do is to um go to android studio official documentation where you can quickly download android studio uh so currently the latest version of android studio we have is android studio makeout so you want to go ahead to read the release notes of this particular version as well as check uh what is new what are the new features and what are the old features and what has changed in android studio right so um once you click on this button what happens is you're going to see the terms and conditions where um you just need to read through and uh um after reading through, you just want to make sure that you click on this button, this checkbox here. So checkbox is showing that you've read and then you have agreed to the above terms and conditions and then you can go ahead to download uh, Android Studio Makeout uh, 24.3.1 for your Windows device. Alright, so once that is done, you want to go ahead to find the location of your script where you downloaded it and um, you just want to go ahead and open it to preferred integrated development environment. So for my case, I'm going to be using um, Visual Studio Code in order to run this application. And um, so the first thing I want to do this time around is to first of all connect my um, physical device so if if you don't if you're not going to be using your physical device you just want to go ahead to um use your under studio the one you just downloaded and you just want to um turn on your virtual device or emulator and then that is how you're going to be able to run this this script all right so once all right so once that is connected you're going to be seeing that showing here and uh let's show some quick commands that you're going to be using in order to run this script so the first command you want to do is going to be flutter clean so you just want to go ahead and clean this project where flutter is going to be like deleting some um packages files dependencies and things like that so that's what flutter clean is going to do so it, it, it deletes view first and um, once this is successful uh you see you, de you deleted some um flutter plugins and dependencies and you just want to go ahead to um pop gets pop get this uh what's it called uh, you just want to go ahead and pop head the pop gets these dependencies so the next command you want to do is um you to pop get right, so so it's going to download those packages and dependencies that we didn't tell you so once everything is successful just like you can see here uh the pop gets was successful and there were no errors so should in case you come across any error you just want to go ahead to um look at the error in particular and go to your popswait.yaml uh where you can either upgrade that dependency or you just want to downgrade it so this is a, these are most of the issues that you can face possibly and so the final um, piece of code that you're going to be writing or running is flutter run so this is you trying to run your 
flutter application so you use the same command flutter run and your application is not viewed in another to show live preview so our application starts running all right so once your application is done running so your application starts um this process yeah so this is the live application that we have currently from delivery up and uh this is a sign in screen where you get to input your sign in credentials as well so um if you read through the documentation you're gonna see a demo um account where you get to sign in then it's, you can just navigate to to see the sign up so this is a sign up and that is how the application is overall so this is how to run a flutter script from uh your your purchase flutter script uh, from code thank you very much and see you next time